Hey everyone, and welcome back to Serena's Tire Room. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Tokyo Agogo Go Cameron. You might be confused because his box has Dylan on it and he also has Dylan's card. He is a factory defect. It said so on the eBay listing. If you guys have seen my Bratz mail haul, you would have seen. We'll just pretend it's Cameron and not Dylan on the box. Bratz Boys, Tokyo Agogo, Go Go, Bratz World, MGA, there's the old logo. The boys with the passion for fashion and the brats. The handle on the top of the box kind of reminds me of like a takeout container, which is a cute little touch. I like loved when they had unique little handles on the old boxes. It was fun. Brats World Tokyo A Go Go. I come with two cool tops, two cool bottoms, two pairs of shoes, two jackets, boys bag, personal e-gadget, flip phone, exclusive and collectible extreme activity gear, and action figure keychain. Brats Boys, anything goes in Tokyo. Inspired by the far out fashions of the Far East, join the Bratz boys as they take the streets in a kaleidoscope of crazy cool color and form and show the world that it's not always what you wear, but how you wear it. Some adorable pictures of the dolls and the play sets. This line is so iconic, I just love it. I have Dylan. I got him out of box. I'd love to get eaten someday. So yeah, let's open up Cameron finally and get a closer look. Here is Cameron out of the box. Something I noticed after I opened him is that, so obviously it's Cameron, but then the card says Dylan, and the back of the box is Eaton. I thought that was Dylan, but then I was like, wait, he has a different outfit that's Eaton. Then I saw the name. Like, I didn't even notice that when I got him, like, this whole time. So that's, like, so weird. I don't know how they could have messed up like that badly, but it's interesting, because obviously that doesn't happen all the time. But anyways... He is so cute. He has like dirty blonde hair with some lighter blonde streaks mixed in with some flocking underneath. And it's cut into like a curtain hairstyle, which is very popular in the early 2000s, late 90s. Bratz boys are like known for their curtain hairstyle, like the e-boys of today could never. I actually like washed his hair because it was like gel back like that. But I wanted him to look nicer for the video. I also like cleaned his face a little bit because it was a little bit dirty. So he looks a lot better. He's wearing these cute earbuds that are not really in his ears but you get the idea and plugged into like an mp3 player and it has a handle for him to hold but like he can't really like hold it and have it in at the same time the earbuds do plug in and out so that's possible you could also like put it in his pocket but it's like hard to do that and have it plugged in at the same time. Something I think is really cool is that he's actually wearing the top that Dylan wears in the Bratz animated series. So I thought that was interesting. I love when the dolls have like actual clothes that the animated characters wear. I think that's really cool. So you can like customize your own animated Bratz dolls. So it's like this gray hoodie with this like cartoon on the front. It kind of reminds me of, um, what's it called? It's like a Nintendo game, I forget. It has like little strings and stuff. And underneath, which is attached, but it looks nice as is, is a striped button up. And there's like a faux hood in the back. Obviously it doesn't go over the head, it's just for show. And over that is this black jacket with a fuzzy hood. And this actually does go over his head, as you can see. But I prefer him without it. He has on these camel pants, which as per usual are very well made and have functioning pockets so you can put his accessories in there if you really wanted to like his iPod or his little robot keychain that he comes with and he has these really funky sneakers in gray blue and yellow he also has this long board with an anime illustration on it which has functioning wheels so you could roll it along and stuff and a red helmet the same as Dylan's he also comes with a little booklet of Bratz dolls that came out in spring 2005. I always like looking at these. And I kind of wish it came with a poster, but a booklet is always fun too. A black comb and his extra outfit, which we are going to put on right now and we will be right back. Here's Cameron in his second outfit. I honestly couldn't tell you which outfit I looked better. I just love this outfit. Cute little plaid. It's very mid-2000s looking and it has some Japanese lettering. I obviously don't know Japanese, so I'm not sure what it says. In the back, feels like a real hat too. Obviously you can put it forwards or backwards, whichever way you like. That's the fun of fashion dolls. You can customize, dress, and style them however you like. I think I like it back facing front, but I just wanted to show you the front 
obviously. He has his over-the-shoulder messenger bag in green, lined with orange. And it does open so you can put his accessories in there too if you wanted. He has this long sleeve tie-dye shirt, which is made of a really nice t-shirty cotton. And it has this anime looking character on the front. Again, it reminds me of that Nintendo game. I can't remember what it's called. And he has this short sleeve button up black shirt with a pop-up collar. Again, very 2000s. With some buttons along the side. Baggy brown khakis with some really cool stitching details all around. And he has these really cute Converse, which I love. Dylan also has those, but I think they could obviously come in handy. Converse go with a lot of different looks. He is the cutest, and I definitely think he's worth the money. I just adore him. He also comes with a cell phone, which was tied down to his shirt here. It's still like wrapped in plastic for now, but I'll take that out later. It's a little flip phone. Very cute. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my review on Brad's Boy's Tokyo Go Go Cameron. Tell me in the comments what you think of him. I think he is the cutest and I just love him. And he's gonna look great when I put my brats on display. Until next time, come over and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye guys!